The only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. And with that, welcome to Life Coaching Training with Kevin, myself, Kevin Chilkins, and yourself. So congratulations on being here. Today we are going to go through a book review uh, on Freedom Matters and what that is all about by Oliver DeMille. So that's really good stuff right there. And um, what we're going to do, that is... Uh, both this guy here and his website, which is right here. So that is that guy there. Uh, he, Oliver uh, is an amazing author. He's written the Thomas Jefferson education book. Uh, there you go. This is his website, uh, Freedom Shift, and uh, and then Thomas Jefferson education also for teens. Plus he's uh, written a bunch of other ones called Leader Shift and uh, bunch of great books so with that being said that is good and um, what we're taking a look at too is Rascal Radio where uh, you can actually pick uh, different speakers you can actually pick Oliver from the list you can pick uh, freedom from the list it's not showing up the list and then you can just hit standing uh, ovation uh, our crate station. And, uh, I love section. this group. <laughs> up some stuff. Uh, you can also, if you uh, wanted to, uh, one of his co-authors is all uh, Orrin Woodward, and you can uh, crate station of Orrin. We've got a special guest with and Oliver DeMille to talk about so the new book a, leadership. A I believe in all of America, and they're and out of the on their book five leadership. people that would so understand. You can you can listen to that, plus you can listen to Orrin, or you can just go to Oliver himself and uh, listen to all I of love the, this group. All the ones with him. And the one that is discussed in the book is the science of freedom, which he actually talks about in this, in the fact that it can be a science, in the fact that there's seven political, uh, there's seven leaders, one of them is the political leader, which is actually the least influential. Uh, we think that our leaders, uh, our political leaders, need to be uh, world changers and we have to vote in the right government and it's the government's issue to fix everything. But that's completely opposite. Uh, he actually says we need to rise up in six of the other leadership categories, family and business and church and communities and media and arts and um, and be good leaders there and that when they're all in balance and everybody's being a very good leader then hopefully out of that will come a good political leader that has the has different backgrounds in some of these areas whether it's business and, and family hopefully everybody's a good leader in the family but not everybody isn't and he also talks about uh, in the audio in this particular audio, which is pretty amazing, he talks about um, how some people, most people don't actually pursue freedom or even educate themselves and the most freedom that they pursue or even anything to do with being a good citizen might be, you know, a few hours every year, uh, whether it's uh, researching on a candidate to vote for or a party, you might do a little bit of research, watch a few videos here or there. You might he mentioned uh, be a jury or a juror at some point, or you might read read the newspaper a little bit and educate yourself on some of the laws or budgets being passed. But overall, he figured that uh, most people don't uh, spend more than 20 hours uh, pursuing freedom every year, and that's a little sad. And um, what might happen is uh, we're, we're going to lose that if that's all the time we're putting into this thing. And uh, it's like a downhill uh, or swimming. No, what did he say? He, his talk was about uh, canoeing or kayaking up a up a downstream. And, and it just seems like you're working and working and working and not going anywhere. But he actually said if you became a really good leader in a whole bunch of the other areas of your family and faith and and communities and media and business. He actually acted uh, intentionally with training 
others to be good in those areas too, then you actually have it's like it's like equipping yourself up for fight fighting for freedom, but you're actually going with the stream in a good way. Like you're making way more headway. And anybody that you train, you train up your children into leadership. Now you're you have a multiplication effect. You train up your staff, you train up the culture at work. You train up your, your church, you train up your communities uh, to all step it up in the leadership. And you actually now go from 20 hours uh, a year to hundreds if not thousands of hours invested into building freedom every year. And we need all our people in our countries, North America, Canada, U.S. and others, to actually become an informed citizen. Uh, that's the best type of government. And he goes on in his talk here. Uh, on Rascal Radio, he goes on his on to his talk, uh, which is great because I don't think it was quite in the book, but um, he he brings up the fact that uh, yeah, sorry about that. So he brings up in in the fact that it's neither checks or balances in the government or how good your constitution or your your writings are that uh, you know some of our countries have that protect people's rights and freedom supposedly and these checks and balances it's not even any of those and how well those are written if we as a citizen um, fight for our freedom and educate ourselves first and foremost and encourage others to do the, the same thing inspire them and equip them up and give opportunity for them to uh, expand their leadership and good influence and character and and things like that that is more powerful than any constitution and, and writings because no matter how good your writings are and your, your paperwork of the founding of your countries and stuff if you um, you can always make them better and keep tweaking them and fixing them and, and uh, bring about even more freedom and if they're bad or sliding to less freedom if you don't have an informed citizenship uh, uh, citizenry, uh, a nation of citizens that actually care about their country and are educated up on it, then if you don't have that, then A, most people won't even know that this lack of freedom is happening and, and, and more and more force is happening and enslavement. They won't even know it. And actually he goes on into his book at the end, one of the most dangerous or the most dangerous uh, government is the invisible government where their power is just increasingly um, forcing you to be more and more uh, enslaved and the people don't even know about it because there are good leaders in media and churches and families and communities that aren't actually speaking up and aren't even educated on what freedom is and what it isn't and and where we're heading, right, and what direction. So, again, great talk on Rascal Radio. It's called The Science, uh, right here, The Science of Freedom. And he actually brings in the fact that uh, seven types of leaders, and it's a great audio. You can get the link down here. I highly suggest you sign up for Rascal Radio. If you want to be a leader, a world changer, you can see the link on my website uh, for like 50, 60 bucks a month. You can literally have hundreds of audios. Uh, tons of different speakers, tons of different topics, and uh, you can go from there and start becoming a world changer. Okay, thanks for your time.